every three gentlemen you meet these days, at least two are photographers or videographers or cinematographers. The question is, what at all are they doing as photographers and videographers? How do they make money from what they do? And which problems are they solving for our country, Ghana? On this episode, my guest, Eugene Hegandodu, would help us with all the answers. Join us. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to the fifth episode of Talent Master Show with me, Maxwell Mensa. On this episode, I'm interacting with one very young, amazing, talented, creative, dynamic young man. He's going to be sharing with us what he does as a videographer, as a filmmaker, as a creative director. In fact, he, he has so many things he does, but when we get to him, he's going to help us. Before then, I want to just tell you about our sponsor, Eastgate Hotel. You know, there are hotels that are just hotels. They just give you rooms. But for a hotel that has a very luxurious restaurant, has a very lovely uh, space here, plus a very nice swimming pool with a very comfortable and welcoming ambience, you can't go wrong when you choose Eastgate Hotel here in East Legon. So ladies and gentlemen, help me as I welcome my guest, Eugene Hegandodu. You're welcome. welcome. Thank you, sir. Man of God. Yes, sir. How has it been? Oh, it's been great. Everything is fine. And it's a privilege to be on this show. It's a privilege to have you. You know, I wanted it to be our very first guest. You know, as our production manager, I wanted it to be our very first guest. But it's never too late. One good thing is that Eugene is into business and is into ministry. How do you balance the two? Um, it's wild. Even yesterday, I was thinking on my bed, like, it's, it's a wild one. But God gives greater grace. And you just have to allocate time for each one. I, I, I know the scripture, or you know the scripture, Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God. So that's my priority wow. before business. Wow. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all oh, these things, things, which includes the business is running, the wife is about to have very soon, and all our things. And gentlemen, we are going to learn a lot from Eugene. So Eugene, what do you do? Um, I'm a filmmaker. I work in Halcyon Media as the CSO. C? Yeah. CSO or CEO? CSO. I work as the CSO. Okay. Who's the CSO? The CSO is the chief servant officer yes. of Halcyon Media. I believe we are called to serve and that's the first calling and I'm the CSO of Halcyon Media. Wow. I'm also the CSO of Talent House Media. I'm no longer the chief executive officer. <laughs> Alright, so on an everyday basis, what do you do uh, at Halcyon Media? What, what, what does the company? Um, Halcyon Media is a media company. We are into um, videography, photography, drone services, software development, um, sound branding, that's for podcasts and other things like that, digital marketing, LED management and billboard. It's a big blow, yes. Wow. But we have the capacity to do all that. Wow. So yeah. all, all these are things that you know how to do personally? Yes, personally, wow. yes. <laughs> I, not, not knowing everything, but I have but a I have an fair idea, idea of everything. Mm. Yes. But then on an everyday basis, what what does your, your job entail at the company? Um it entails going on you don't it's not an office work. Mm. You go on field and then come back to the bench. So it's not like sitting down eight to five mm -hmm. behind a computer. Mm -hmm. We go stand, do production on field and then come back on the bench. So it's like doing two things at one Same and mm. so if I shoot a video for I do videos. Yeah. So if I shoot a video for two hours I'll come and edit for four hours. Wow. Because I have to watch, edit, and mm. it's, it's a lot of work. So that's what people don't know. Mm. They are like, tra, tra misisia, yama misisia. but after shooting you, I have to go back on bench, and it takes longer time than so shooting it, you. It means that when it comes to, say, for example, video production, yeah. there's much more work in the editing and the production than the, just the shooting. There's the shooting much is more work. Part. Yes. The shooting is like, maybe I'll say 60% of the work done. Mm. And forty percent, it looks small, but that's what that's what it entails a lot. Mm -hmm. Editing, getting your color correction right, getting everything. It's like raw food, gold, mm -hmm. and you have to make it into jewelry, and it's a lot. Charlie, one day when I grow up, I would want to learn from you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so then, let's take it this way. How's your media? How did it start? How did you decide? What pushed you to start your Media? Um, How's Your Media is a group of young, vibrant people who are on fire for God and who are into the media industry. And How's Your Media started with a passion from church. So I have a very, very good childhood friend, 2-4, James Raha. 
and we started together and you we know, have I, I have an experience with J, uh, james uh, yeah that guy uh, but i will share it okay. you, you, you go <laughs> so we have loyal people so patrick came on board and we are like the three and musketeers. Patrick, have an to that guy. Oh, you do? I yeah. see. Oh, all your guys are, are, are amazing young guys. Wow. We fight, but it's all good. Very loyal. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's how I started in church, getting our talent. And two for pushed the Lord because they had a, he had a passion for photography. Mm -hmm. we, were, we were borrowing people's cameras, taking, and we are here. Mm. Wow. So, so that's how I started. Um, did you start it because of the talent you had in that area or because you studied about it or because somebody said usually i think you should try it because of what you do i didn't do anything art i didn't do anything media i did software engineering and i did i have a science background but i don't know there was a science. passion yeah As i did science. The, the physics, yeah i did biology things. chemistry and you it away. don't tell me how it went i didn't <laughs> like it <laughs> actually i mean if i should go back to messages one course i'll never read Science. <laughs> Why would I use science? I mean, biology, physics, no, 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 no. I'm a general art person. Let's go, wow. let's read. Yeah, okay, so let's So, yeah, um, I didn't do anything media, as I said, but there was a passion to take pictures, a passion. And I think Tufo played a, I call him Tufo, but it's not Tufo. He played a key role in that because he did art and he had a passion for all that. So, we just, I'm an entrepreneur and I started business at the age of 17. Wow. Fun first time. Wow. I started 17 and over. We're doing adverts on TV, the Vodafone adverts with the dog, with the guy jumping. So I've been, I've had that entrepreneur background mm -hmm. and he had the passion. So we joining or we adding it, brought this thing up. Wow. Yes. Wow. Charlie, in as much as you keep celebrating people in the US from China and Cuba who are doing some amazing stuff at very young ages. Eugene began at age 17, and I know he's not so old. I don't know if he minds that as age, but he's a very young guy who is doing amazingly well. And so let's let, let's continue the, the, the interaction. So when you began, how was it like? How the, the challenges you faced? Extre you know? It was extremely difficult, and we're doing a lot of free stuff. And since we had the background from church, we wanted to use our talents to serve God. Mm -hmm. So that's where we had our false shortcomings and stuff. Like I remember an experience doing somebody's video and I think everything got deleted or something. Yes, and then I remember a wedding, doing a wedding and the footage is somewhere lost and I couldn't pick up calls. So I started and I started and there have been so, so many obstacles but it has brought us where we are mm -hmm. so starting with no camera going to borrow camera if you are shooting your wedding mm -hmm. and i had to go and take cameras from my friends mm -hmm. imagine if i go to a friend and he says he's tired mm -hmm. his camera is tired and people use that his camera is tired just say yeah see the camera the camera tired. is tired it's a machine so it's a way imagine of saying, yes it's a way of saying i don't give you and imagine you've taken a contract worth maybe two thousand mm -hmm. and the guy is not giving you his camera what, what are you doing so it has been Kohabraha mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. God has been faithful and we've been I, I think I've had loyal friends around me mm -hmm. young mm -hmm. people days where we do work and there was no money mm -hmm. and we have we have followed the vision mm -hmm. and I think right now is the deuce the deuce is coming it's coming wow we thank God we thank God so since he has mentioned the deuce let's get to the deuce part of the whole way so what you do at Calcium Media is it a profitable thing you do yeah, I really, really enjoy it, and I, I don't think I'll trade it for anything. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much money in, mm -hmm. in media work, photography, videography. There's a wedding every weekend, mm -hmm. but I don't like weddings. It's so stressful. And you my, know, the last time you told me this, I was shocked. I'm like, how can you say you don't like weddings? Because most of the young guys that I talked about in the intro who are into photography and videography, all they do is weddings. We can do weddings, start to do weddings, that's all, and then they make their money. And you are saying you don't do weddings, why? Let me tell you the difference. The difference is a lot of photographers have their business behind them, in their bags, and on their beds. And if you want to break through, you should do things big. Mm -hmm. I like corporate work, because mm -hmm. a corporate man doesn't say his mother wasn't in the video. <laughs> his, a corporate man doesn't say this this bottle of coke wasn't in the video no, but they say things like i ah this person didn't come in the pictures wasn't it like i yes. was MC mm -hmm. in the program mm -hmm. and at the mc the pictures came out and there was no the, picture not even one picture of me oh, wow wow i was so wow. embarrassed but i think it's more stress-free mm -hmm. and that is our target mar market as a company okay. we want to enter the corporate and then do more of gospel stuff mm -hmm. 
events. That's kingdom events. Okay. So okay. that's where we are going. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I've done weddings and I have personal experiences about weddings. We do weddings, yes, mm -hmm. but that is not our priority. Mm -hmm. Yes. I see, I see. So what are the areas you make money from? You mentioned the LED, you mentioned the drone. What are the areas you make money from? We make money from videography. We make money from software development. From everything. Because we are in a new era. Mm -hmm. And the motto of Halcyon is a medium to a new era. Yeah. We are a medium. A vehicle taking you into this new era mm -hmm. of technology. Wow. So we are that medium. This can be, this talent master show cannot be done if there was no media company definitely because we take what happens here into the world mm -hmm. now we are into digital marketing social media is like it's, a big thing it's like having big. it's like having 20 000, it's like having billion audiences mm -hmm. when you are just even three in this room mm -hmm. because whatever you take out reaches that's more than more. two people more than two or more people and that's what we are into and it's it's it has it's, we are making money mm -hmm. there's a lot of money in this industry wow, wow. Um, I believe so far you are learning so much from our uh, guests, Eugene and Dodo. Um, for any young person who wants to venture into what he does, I want to encourage you from what he himself has said. It's a very profitable venture, but you, just, you need to be hard work, you need to be committed. But then let me just find out, what would be the, the top three things you would say or advice you would give to anyone who wants to venture into your space? Um, when you start, don't go in for the money, go in for a good portfolio. Because... Hey. Because your work would make room for you. As the Bible says, your gifts shall make room for you. Yeah. Your works will make room for you. And try to hit a certain target market. Mm -hmm. Don't be like everybody. I don't go everywhere. Mm -hmm. I just don't do anything. Mm -hmm. I do things that I know would impact my generation and would, would, would give the company a certain name. Mm -hmm. So I'm not everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then the second thing is God first. If you can seek He first, the kingdom of oh, God, fine. all these things shall be added unto you. And then the other thing is have a passion for it. Because at a point, you can have money, but money wouldn't drive the okay. Money is very important because even in this business, you need equipment. And equipments are so expensive. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have the passion, it won't bring the money. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you should have the passion too. Definitely. So those are wow. the three things. Amazing, amazing, amazing pointers. So to the final part of this episode, we would want to find out from our guests which real problems he's solving with his talent and his business. So Eugene, which real problems are you solving here in Ghana with your talent and with your business? I believe I'm creating a platform for employment mm -hmm. and then I'm making Ghana known because I'm, technology, I believe, is advancing in the West and it's coming into Africa and I believe I'm part of the move because I'm doing stuff that are up to date in technology mm -hmm. so new softwares sound branding podcast was mm -hmm. in the west and it's yeah. really coming into ghana and i'm doing that and i believe i'm helping ghana and i'm inspiring a lot of young people mm -hmm. because i believe at my age to be doing this and i this house your media is my third business wow so yes i believe that i'm an inspiration to people and to kingdom people especially christians i believe me combining business and ministry it's is a great um influence to others because it's not easy because jesus said he never promised a rosy road mm -hmm. but he said his grace and mercy yes. will see us through so i think that's what i'm doing for ghana i'm helping people and i'm inspiring the generation wow wow amazing amazing so now we are bringing this episode to an end we would want to pick your final words and what your thoughts are about talent matter show um my final words is be ready to serve as a young person because if you don't serve you can't learn mm -hmm. if you do, you are not a servant you can't become a master mm -hmm. and it's all about your availability and not your ability because you just have to be available to learn what the masters or the people who have gone ahead of us have learned and i believe that talent master show is a platform of greatness because it's given p it's given us a platform to bring out our talents and to inspire others there are many people in their shells and i believe this is a platform that this is a catalyst mm -hmm. that is bringing out the snail from its shell he has found it all this is a catalyst that is bringing out the, the snails in their shell ladies and gentlemen this has been episode five of the talent master show with me maxwell mesa my guest has been eugene Higandodo, ceo of house media Halcyon Media is our production company for this entire show. 
I want to remind you we are proudly sponsored by Eastgate Hotel here in East Legon for luxury, for comfort, for pleasure. Come to Eastgate Hotel here in East Legon. We are also sponsored by Ice Cream Kiss Smoothie, Chicken Plus, Mantra Group, Ultimate Credit Solutions Limited, PCN ICT Training Center. But hey, if you want to come on board to sponsor or advertise your brand, we are available. Speak to us now. This has been episode 5 of Talent Master Show. Don't forget, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you very much and I'll see you during the next episode.